Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Just want to say thank you all for the supports and uh, since we're getting into the breeding season, if you guys want to support the channel just a little bit more, see more content behind the scenes, I do have a Patreon. I only have one level, it's about five bucks a month. Uh, I'll be posting early stuff and uh, everything that's going on before everybody else with the pairings the breeding process, the egg laying, the incubation, the cutting, and all that stuff. So with that, I want to talk to you guys really fast about what's going on, and then we're going to feed three snakes, so it's not going to be that long of a video. But I did have a snake breeding with a pastel clown. This pastel clown was, I mean, she's big. She's really big. I got to clean out her cage because I've had two snakes in there repeatedly for the last like two months for breeding processes only. I don't let them live together, but I didn't see any locks at all. So I was getting really nervous that maybe the male's not of age uh, or weight. He is like a year and a half almost at about 700 grams. I'd say six, 700 grams. So I was like, man, maybe I'm pairing these too early because a lot of people were telling me not to pair up until they're like 800 grams or a thousand grams. But then I hear people pairing up at like, 400 grams so that's a little weird to me so that didn't work at all and so I was like well let me just put a male in with another female which I don't know how I feel about this pairing but I put him in there yesterday and nothing was really happening and then I looked today and here we are if we can get in here that's a lock so they are fully, fully locked up. And the female that I decided to put the male with, it's a fire enchi clown. And the male was a leopard yellow belly clown. Now, I guess that's an okay pairing. Everything's gonna be a clown something. It's always good to have a fire gene possibly drop down into another enchi or leopard or yellow belly. Yellow belly for me is very difficult to, uh, to see on a lot of these genes. So that'll be interesting on trying to uh, identify that. I just buy yellow belly from very good breeders like uh, John Chosmer, Rice Reptiles, um, Canova, which, you know, they're the top in the game, so they're not gonna lead you astray. But I really wanted to keep that female option opened for the fall because I do have a chocolate leopard clown. Now the chocolate stuff is amazing. I really like the chocolate stuff. Of course, er, by now you guys should know I love the leopard. I have a lot of leopard clowns. But I really wanted to put him with her and try to make some fire chocolate stuff. But he's about 300 grams and he's probably a year away from breeding. So my thought process is if these two go, by the time she's ready to rebreed next year, um, then I'll put the chocolate uh, male with her. So she's at a thousand grams right now, maybe 1100, which seems low, but through the process, through the breeding process, uh, she'll eat and she'll gain weight. By the time she ovulates and drops eggs, she should be around 1600 grams, which is what I've done with almost all the other snakes that I have down here. Started breeding them, at around 1,000 or 1,100. I did that probably in November, and it's now June or February. It's now February. And most of the females are 16, 17, 18, 1,900 grams with no ovulation. So not looking too good on that, but I'm still trying, still pairing the males up with them. I have not seen any locks from the black pastel pied and the mahogany pied. This girl is huge. When I first started pairing her, she was, yeah, I'd say she was around 1,300 grams. She's now almost 2,000 grams. So she's gained a lot of weight. She's definitely breeder size. But that male, I don't know. I haven't seen anything. And I don't, and I don't want to put my other male with, with her because I don't, I don't want those odds. So let's feed. Let's feed some of these snakes. All right, let's just feed uh, three snakes, and uh, these are ball pythons, so let's not get too crazy and carried away. They probably won't eat very well, but this is a 
Superfly. Uh, Superfly Clown, let's get this in focus. So it's a Super Pastel Fire Clown. So it's another fire, which is amazing. I've got quite a bit of fire stuff in the collection. And this girl sometimes does not do the greatest on feeding off the tongs. So I'll leave that in there for her. Hopefully she eats that just a little bit later. She's a 2021 sitting right around 850 grams. So she's not gonna be breeding really anytime soon. We'll go up here to the banana pie female. And I was looking at prices since everything's like drastically dropping. I am shocked on how cheap banana pie males are. It's wild. But the good thing about the females is that any males that they produce have the potential to make females. So they are the male female makers, I think they're called. So definitely a very good value on that. This is a regular pastel uh, pied, which I might try to incorporate some uh, Orange Dream Leopard Entry stuff into that because of this dude right here. This dude will lock up instantly when I put him with a female. I don't really want to put him to the Black Pastel Pied just because Black Pastel Pied throws extremely high white snakes and I don't think, I could be wrong, but I don't think there'd be a lot of pattern from those. So I don't, I don't know if that would be a good pairing or not. But uh, like, I, like I, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. So maybe it's a good pairing. If it is, you guys let me know. Uh, I like to have stuff. I, if it's a black pastel pie, I like the super high whites. If it's got a lot going on with it, I like it low white. So you can see all the stuff that's happening. It's easier to identify. If it has an orange dream leopard enchi in it. It just makes it a prettier snake, I think. But if it's a black pastel pie, I don't mind it. But that's it. Again, thank you guys for the support. Um, hopefully you guys are excited for this year as I am for the breeding. Never bred anything in my entire life. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and on that, I'll see you guys on the next video.